I am Dr. Sandeep Upadhyay, Professor and Senior Consultant Rheumatology Immunology at Indraprasth Apollo Hospitals, New Delhi. Today, we'll be talking about ankylosing spondylitis or spondyloarthritis, the various causes, how it's diagnosed, how to treat and how to live one's life better with this ailment. Ankylosing spondylitis is the scientific term for an arthritis of the spine. Now, the spondylitis arthritis is a disease that affects young men very commonly and it's very commonly associated with a gene called the HLA-B27. Now, some patients who develop this disease either early on or have very advanced forms of this disease after several years of its um, uh, ravaging effects on the body, uh, then uh, ankylosing spondylitis appears. Okay, so 1 in 200 or 1 in 300 of uh, male patients in our population will have spinal pain, will have pain in the buttock and the spine. And many of them are HLA-B27 positive and many of these are 1 in 200, 1 in 300. AS is commonly suspected in the young male, especially if the male presents to the doctor with a history of buttock, spine pain or pain at the little lower middle back difficulty in turning sides at night, getting up and walking in the morning. The patient who has family members afflicted with spinal pain and the possibility of an HLA-B27 on the uh, blood report. AS or spondyloarthritis is caused by a combination of immunogenetic factors, and environmental factors. The HLA-B27 gene is associated with the immunogenetics of this disease. Uh, suffice it to say that the young male individual who has inherited some forms of genes from both the parents is the one major aspect that propels the disease. Some environmental factors, they possibly related to infection, gut infection for example, with Shigella, Salmonella and some forms of dysentery can cause a spondylitis arthritis called the reactive arthritis. Symptoms of AS uh, which is uh, pain and stiffness. Most of the time the pain is centered around the lower back, the buttock. Uh, early in its uh, session. Subsequently, there will be a transfer of pain or pain also in other parts of the body called the anthesial sites, the chest wall, the back of the heel, parts of tendon insertion around the heel or the, or the uh, knee joint. These are associated with swelling and redness, sometimes with in unbearable pain. AS or spondyloarthritis is diagnosed based on a clinical evaluation of the patient. That clinical evaluation includes a history taking and a chit chat with the patient and physically examining the patient. Most of the times the examination yields stiffness of the spine, reduced mobility of the spine, arthritis of a few uh, places. There will be anthesial inflammation. Uh, whereas the tendon inserts onto a joint or uh, spinal structure. The diagnosis is confirmed by a set of other tests uh, which include radiology, a simple x-ray or an MRI and very often the need for C-reactive protein, hemograms and a special test called the HLA-B27 test. There is a very important second set of complications that appears because of the chronicity of the disease and that is because there is 
relentless inflammation which leads to inflammation in the endothelium of blood vessels causes secondary cardiovascular diseases stroke mi and also because of the inflammation and uh, the the high degree of interleukin production a form of anemia called the anemia of chronic disease the other complication is a renal disorder that most often is because of the deposition of a protein called the amyloid protein in the kidney and this amyloid kidney uh, is related to a uh, problem that uh, leads to renal failure in the long run as is treated primarily with medications and exercise now the medications themselves are needed for those patients who don't do well alone with exercises and mostly for patients who have a moderate or a severe form of spondyloarthritis most of the patients who have mild ankylosing spondylitis will not need much treatment and only exercises physiotherapy will do treatment of as as we just discussed is primarily related to anti inflammatory medications physiotherapy if that fails the patient needs to go on to biologic therapies and there are times when even biologic therapy fails and there is uh, a complete destruction of a given joint that's when surgical intervention is needed and orthopedic surgeons will probably change a joint uh, use some kind of implants or therapies that are important surgically for the patient's well being well the simple answer to this question is no one can't prevent as we are not uh, scientifically advanced enough to understand the causes of as beyond the few causes that we know and that relates to the hlab27 gene a few other genetic factors and heritability around it what we've discussed on the subject of ankylosing spondylitis or spondyloarthritis is as follows number 1 we know a few things about ankylosing spondylitis and hlab27 is an immunogenetic factor we know that it can be heritable and it does run in families but not all children will will have uh, ankylosing spondylitis we know that there are ways and means of living a healthy uh, purposeful life with the right kind of treatment rheumatologists immunologists are the right uh, specialist who have knowledge about this disease in its entirety are aware of what are the latest treatments to conclude even if you are a young man and have spinal symptoms or arthritis of the spine you must be optimistic stay healthy stay informed and stay safe